Hello learners, in this lecture we will see what do we mean by floating column or what do we mean by stub column. Floating and stub column both are one and the same. First we will try to understand the theory, then we will try to see the practical things of this. So floating columns are those columns which do not have foundations. The second point is that this column directly rests on the beam and it transfers the load to the beam as a point load. So the connection to be given should be fixed by providing a proper development length. Okay. So we'll try to understand this in a more better way. See, now if you see here, this is a building elevation. What you can see, you can see a column here. You can see a column here and you can see a column here and here it is a support here. Okay. This is, this is done with the help of a stat pro software or maybe ETAP software. And this is a fixed support. That means here there is a foundation. Okay. This is how we try to give fixed support. So there is a foundation here. So these are my normal columns, but you can see one column here. This is also a column, but there is no foundation given here, right? Since there is no foundation given, this is floating in air. So that is the reason we call this as floating column or stub column. In the same way, observe here, we have one column here. There's another column here. We have given a foundation here. It's a fixed support and practical on the ground. We'll put a foundation to this column and we'll try to keep this column. But here we have put a column here. No issue with that but it doesn't have any foundation. So it is floating in air. Hence it is called as floating column. So we'll try to see the practical uh, drawing of this. Okay. Again, it's the same thing. Okay. Now by this time you might have developed an idea how it looks. There's no foundation, no foundation here. Also you can see it is a floating column because from here the column has not been taken. The column has been taken from the beam. That is why I've written here. This column directly rests on the beam and transfer the load to the beam as a point load. So this will put a point load on this beam. And so this particular beam I have to design for this column load. Yeah. Now coming to the practical application. So can you see a column here? This is one column. This is a second column. Okay. Then here also we have another column and behind this also I have another column. Same thing here. So this column, what I have put up no? These are my floating columns because this doesn't have any foundation. This is directly resting on the beam. You can see the beam here. This is a beam. What you can see. Okay. This is a beam. So on this beam, these columns are resting. So hence it is called as floating column. Now coming to the practical uh, drawing of this, how it looks, uh, it's a bit blurry, but uh, this is what I had. You can go through this. Okay. Now you see here. Yeah. Now you can see it here. You can see everything, the black dot here. It's a black marking. All these are the columns what I've located. Similarly, just observe here. There's one column here. There's another column here. There's another column here, another column here, whatever four columns I showed, you know, uh, through that image, these are the same, very same column that I showed you. And you can see something written here, FC, FC stand for floating column, FC stand for floating column. So one, two, three, and four, these four are floating column and they have been taken over this particular beam. You can see a beam written here, B34, nine inch by 12 inch, B35, nine inch by 12 inch. So on these beams, this particular columns will be taken. And what is the size of this column? It is mentioned here. Can you see here floating column FC? You have to provide a nine inch by nine inch floating column. And this other reinforcement in this particular column, you have to provide a 12 diameter four number of bar and coming to the lateral ties, you have to provide a eight mm bar at eight, di eight inch center to center spacing. Okay. So in this way, you need to understand this drawing. I hope this uh, basic understanding is clear. Now we'll try to do the same thing with the help of a ETAP software. ETAP is a software where we try to design any of the building practically. And once it is done, we do the detailing and all. So I'll just explain how it's done practically in the uh, designing field. So I'll go to the top floor and the story one is okay. Apply. Okay. Okay. We'll come to this. Okay. So here I'll try to see now I want to, uh, do a kind of a small uh, slab somewhere here in this portion. I want to put a slab, but I'll put it as a floating column. So I'll take a column option from here. Okay. Give me a minute. Yeah. So I'll try to draw a column somewhere here. Okay. So I'll take a column option from here and let us say we'll take it as a column. Yeah. And uh, okay, I'll try to draw here only. So let me put one column somewhere here. I'll put another column here. Can you see I'm where I'm drawing the column. 
I'm drawing the column exactly over the beam. Okay. I'll draw another column here and I'll draw another column here. So we'll see how it looks in the 3D. Yeah, so I'll be drawing a slab on this. So quickly I'll show you how it has to be done. I'll, I'm drawing a slab on this. This is how I draw on a slab. Now if I put this in a 3D model, so can you see here? I've drawn the floating columns. How it looks like a floating column? You can see I've taken a column here. I'll move it in this way. Yeah. So you can see one column, this is second column, this is my third column, fourth column, and I've put a slab. Look at the way the column is put up. It that doesn't have any foundation. It is resting on the beam. But whereas all other columns, if you see, give me a minute. Yeah, all other columns, if you see, you know, see, they all got a, they all have foundation. You can see this. This is a foundation. So from from foundation, these columns have been taken. But if I turn this in this way. If I turn this, this column has started only from the beam, hence it is called as floating column, right? So in this way, practically we model this and also I've shown you how practically uh, we do the model and practically how it is executed. So always uh, from earthquake point of view and all, stub column is not a better choice. Always better you start the foundation from the, you always you take the column from the foundation only, okay? But for small structure and all, if you want to give the floating columns, you can give. But when we go for high rise buildings and all, uh, usually the Indian standard uh, IS 13920 ductile littering code book says that uh, floating columns are not allowed and they are not good because from earthquake point of view, they don't behave in a good way. Uh, they always fail. Yeah. So I hope these uh, things are clear. We'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.